The Glenmore Hotel is located in Inverness within the Highlands of Scotland. We are a collection of 20 buildings with 120 apartments and bedrooms. And what we've constructed is a water source heat pump project that links shallow water wells alongside the banks of the River Ness into an energy center which then supplies hot water and heating across the breadth of all the properties and removing ourselves from the gas grid. We wanted to future-proof the business. We have a collection of over 20 properties in a town location. So when we looked at it, we were also not, not necessarily also from a sustainability aspect, but also from a future-proofing aspect. So that's where the sort of district heating system comes in. A system which can link all these sort of archaic old systems, replace 20 separate boiler houses and bring it together into one centralized location. We're a hotel that runs 120 bedrooms and apartments with 20 different boiler rooms. We want it to be a hotel and a business which runs one central plant system, which is effective, reliable, modern. And ultimately from there, we want to get off the grid. What we've done with, with the project is we've, we've bundled it up under a term which we call the energy center. This energy center is part of the same building that is our brewery and our distillery visitor center taproom. So it becomes absolutely integral to everything we do and the visitor experience that's going to come. Um, the carbon savings in this project have been estimated at about 250 tonnes per year. Um, and that's based on the placement of the gas-fired heating systems in each of the properties. There's also a new distillery building that's coming online which will have heat supplied to it from the heat pump system. Um, and there's also a, a building management system that's gone in alongside the, the district heat network and the heat pump system which should provide potential future reductions in uh, energy and carbon savings as well. Once we had engaged with the district heating loan fund, we found the process was pretty iterative and it took us through each step. We weren't looking for information, the information was given to us. We had a lot of form filling, we had a lot of information that we had to put in, but at no stage did we have to second guess the process. And I always felt it was pretty transparent. What, what's important to state in this is that once we had drawn down an initial loan fund, when the project, as many projects do, find difficulties or go over budget, they were still there for us and still willing to help us go further. There wasn't too much suspicion and too much uh, red tape go taking everything forward. And that's something which uh, I'm very grateful for on the process. So I would like a big thank you to the District Heat Loan Fund for helping us with it and actually getting us to where we are. Because as I said before, without it, we wouldn't have got the job done. As we go forward, this, this will become the norm. This is not, what we're doing now might be at the beginning of, the pro, of, of, of a change in energy and how we use heating, how we use systems. However, this will be what everyone's doing in 10 years. So from a point of view of how it benefits or how people see us, it's all positive. 